I've moved the camera over a little bit because the sun's coming through the window there and rather than look directly into the sun. You'll notice that uh, I've changed the wheel out. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. Uh, I've got a worn out uh, 120 belt and what I want to do is just knock some of the scale and you know get the, clean up the oil and stuff that's on the blade on here before I temper it which is the next step in the heat treat process. So I'll explain that as I go but here we're going to knock off the crud. I'm going to do is temper the blades. Um, the heating to 1525 and then cooling quickly or quenching it actually hardens it, but now they're brittle. So I want to take some of that brittleness out of the blades, and that's called tempering. As you can see, I've got four blades in the oven. And for this steel, what I do is I temper it at 450 degrees. Let me show you how that's set up. The first, it heats up as quickly as it can to 450 degrees, and then it holds that temperature for two hours, and we'll start it. And then I let that oven cool down um, without opening the door. It's going to take several hours for it to cool down, and then I repeat that cycle. I, I temper it at 450 degrees twice. Um, so I'll show you, I'll be back with you after the second temper cycle is done. All right, the steel has been hardened and tempered. That's been completed. Um, next step is to start grinding. Let me show you how I'm set up here. I'm going to be using a Wilton uh, square wheel grinder. Um, the wheel I said I'd explain is a little bit different. This is a homemade one. Uh, it's what it, it's called, a, or I call a soft wheel. Basically, it just started out with an 8-inch uh, wheel I picked up at a trailer shop. It's a solid, I'm not sure of the material, but a solid wheel. Bought a couple of high-speed bearings, uh, took it to a machine shop. They milled it down to 7.5 inches and flattened it because there was a little bit of a crown originally on the wheel. And then installed the bearings. And then I took a quarter-inch thick felt and put it on here so there's some give to um, when you give when you're grinding and it's a the the finished results pretty good you get very few scratches on it very little hand sanding when you're done um, it's just got a three quarter inch shaft through that um, and that's opposed to the serrated wheel that I did the profiling on it's just a hard rubber wheel um, so there's the difference. Let me get it set up with a 50 grit belt and we'll start grinding. <laughs> 